Well, that one thing about you, you stay on that type of game. <laughs> You don't let nobody and me go ahead and turn mine around too. No free, no free marketing. But welcome back to the video. Welcome back to the channel. Beside me on my right, but your left, we have Ken Tor. He is finally back in a video. He been here for a few weeks now, and I'm trying to get him in a video for ever. I'm a couple months. Oh yeah, that is true. I'm tripping a couple months, but in this video, we're gonna train chest. Um, I have been training chest for a while now because I'm trying to grow my chest get my chest thicker. I don't even know if you can get a chest thicker. What you think? I'm trying to find out. <laughs> so lately I've just been hitting my chest a lot more now, um, a lot more volume, a lot more intensity, a lot more like um, pressure overload as well. So I'm really hitting my chest two days, sometimes three days out of the week. So in this video, we're gonna hit the upper, the lower, and the middle. So those are three planes that we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit some volume. We also gonna hit some strength workouts as well. Like, what are you looking for in this workout here? Because I know previously you said you wanna grow your chest as yeah. well. Yeah, so what I'm looking for mostly is just like consistency. Just to, not even just today, but to just keep showing up. Like, I, I was late last, what, last Sunday, Saturday? Yeah, but we also forgot the um, memory card, so that's on me as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But I was still late to the workouts, what I'm saying. Like, okay, it's yeah, better, yeah. better have to get back, get up and be active at a certain time. Cause I was, I get up damn near six o'clock every morning anyway. Um, but I just gotta make sure I have stuff planned the night before. So I yeah. just get up and go. Yeah, so yeah. I definitely understand that. I think that's how I built my routine because well, when you was at my house uh, last night, I was already getting ready for the next day. Yeah. So I think once you, what's that saying? Um, forward thinking, backwards planning. Yeah. So I already had it in my head what I'm doing the night before. So I mean the night before, the day before, and I try to get it done. So we about to jump into a chest workout. We're gonna hit a little bit of triceps as well. But before you do any type of movement, any type of workouts, make sure you warm up. You always wanna warm up, get the blood going, get everything lubricated in before you jump right into a workout because we don't wanna hurt ourselves and um, we wanna minimize the, um, the injury process, so. And we got some stuff, so a lot of content coming for new viewers, viewers who's already been here. It's about to get at them. Yes. So. You can see a lot of this right here. A lot of this, but let's jump into the chest workout. First working set, so we did two warm-up sets. So make sure you guys do two warm-up sets. And this right here is gonna be our first working sets and we aim it from the reps of 10 to 12. So a more of a progression overload, really working on strength training. But when you go up in reps like 12 to 15, that mostly muscle tissue. So therefore right now, this first exercise right here, we're working on the strength building. So we're gonna do 130 pounds, aiming from at least, I would say 10 to 12 reps. No, let's, let's bump it down like eight to 10 reps. I'm always preaching that, make sure you control the weight. And I always tell my clients and the people that I do help, never sacrifice your form over weight. Never sacrifice your form over weight. With the bench, my objective is to get stronger. So I took about a year off for real on working out in general. So my bench is probably my weakest right now. Um, probably maxing out to like 190, 210, if that, you know what I'm saying? So over the next few weeks, that's that's what my goal is to get stronger and bench. So. Another thing with us being so tall, um, six, what, six, 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 eight? Yeah. Our arms are so long, so pushing that bench up, it, it requires a lot of will, I would say. Not really strength, just like, just trying to get the bench up, so. Um, that's another thing I feel like you probably have more information on. Yeah. And as far as like trying to get our um, strength up while having long arms compared to trying to do bench with somebody short and got shorter arms, they can push more and do more weight, mm -hmm. so. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So to piggyback off what Kentora was saying about taller people or taller guys of our stature versus like short guys, nothing against short guys. But when you bench with a short guy, their arms are not gonna be that long. So when they benching, they're gonna come out right here because their arms are short. So therefore, they don't have that longer distance to travel. But a guy like Kentori or a guy like me, we have to push out so far. And when we push out so far, most of the time, our triceps is gonna dominate that movement. We only gonna feel it in the hole, like literally in the hole right here because everything is locked, everything is in place. But when we push up and our arms are so long, we're gonna lock out. So therefore, we're gonna hit more triceps. Just for, you don't see as many people benching as heavy. I know my bench suck. Kentori knows his bench suck. But at the end of the day, we are in here trying to get stronger, trying to build a foundation. 
I would say my max is around right now from all the running that I do and all the running that I accumulate. I would say my max is around 255, 265. But the good thing about that, I'm getting stronger. I feel like I'm getting a lot stronger. Um, I'm previously doing 225 a little bit easier than than the, um, a few months ago, so I'm getting stronger. My goal is to get around 285, close to 300, then we're going to drop it back down, then we're going to get back on that on that field to run. But that's my take about guys who are taller. We just got a longer distance to travel when we bench and the shorter guys. They have a short distance, so therefore, they got the upper advantage. So when you warm up, this is a tip for Kentori. <laughs> it's a tip, <laughs> a pause, but it's a tip <laughs> for the listener. It's a tip for the viewer. When you do warm up, don't try to exert yourself. It always called a pre-exhaustion. Don't try to exert yourself. When you're on a machine, okay, cool. You can do like 12 to 15 reps, but when you're doing free weight, try to do five reps or maybe eight reps. Don't exhaust yourself because with the free weight, you're not controlling it. You're not controlling it. But with the um, with the machines, the machines is controlling the movement. So therefore, make sure you guys warm up properly. So this right here is gonna be our first working set and we're gonna aim for six to eight reps. Six to eight reps, we still working on strength. I believe so the next workout that we do is going to be more so of a accessory base so therefore that will be more of a muscle tissue more of the reps type range so this right here we're going to do six to eight reps three sets of 225 i may go up depending on how i feel um one thing i would like to say when you do bench make sure you keep your scapula retracted keep your scapula retracted your shoulders back and your chest up so therefore, you're gonna utilize nothing but your chest. So we can keep our shoulders back, we can keep the scapula retracted, and keep the chest up. So therefore, you can press smoothly and always dig your feet into the ground. Those are my tips. All right, so for my first working set, I'm gonna start off with 185. We're gonna see how it feels. We did chest on what, what day it was, Tuesday? Tuesday. We did chest on Tuesday. Uh, bench kind of felt heavy to me, I ain't gonna lie. But I feel like I got a little strength in me, so. And, like like both said, when I was warming up, I was doing max reps on the warm up. So I was doing like 10 to 12 reps on my warm ups, probably gonna max out all my energy. So I kind of reserved a little energy for this uh, working set, so we'll see. How you feel about that? Oh, uh, it got heavy towards the end. I could probably go up like five, 10 pounds, we'll see. But I'm gonna need a spot though. Oh, no. So right here is gonna be our incline dumbbell press. And with this, you guys remember when we were doing more so of strength training? on the um, barbell bench, so right here it's gonna be more so of the muscle tissue. So muscle tissue, therefore, is gonna be hypertrophy type workout. So we're gonna do 12 to 15 reps. Same thing that I explained over there, we're gonna do the same thing over here. So when you sit down, make sure your back and your scapula is really, really locked in. Your chest is up and roll your shoulders back. We don't wanna be like this. See what I'm saying? So when we be like this, we are using nothing but shoulder. But when you lock your scapula like this, Therefore, your elbow is going to come in, your chest is going to pick up. So this is the proper way to do a chest workout or any chest movement. And like I said before, this right here is going to work on muscle tissue because we're doing more reps. And this right here, we can add volume to it and we can add intensity to it. I always tell people it's not about the minutes that you spend in the gym. It's all about the intensity of your workout. Because you can come here, be here for two hours, BSing around, and you feel like you did a great job, but you didn't. But if you come in here 45 minutes pushing, intensity up, volume up, I promise you, you have a better workout. Yo, tip about keeping your, you said scapula back. Scapula retracted, yeah. shoulders back and chest up. You can feel the difference as, as far as your lift. It, I feel like it, make, it, make, it makes you feel more stable and it also helps, it helped me push more weight, if that makes sense. Yes. But this right here is our last and final movement. Me and Kentura have hit three heads, all three heads of chest, the upper, the middle, in the bottom so those are our three planes so now like i said we're into the volume part of the workout also the intensity part of the workout right here we have cable crossovers with the straight back coming just like this cable crossover so we're going to do 12 to 15 reps once we finish the 12 to 15 reps on this we're going to proceed right here to the dips and we're going to do failure failure guys we're going to do failure so right here 12 to 15 reps and on your dips we have failure Making, I don't even want to talk. All right, let's go. I'm on a time limit. Let's go. Let's go.
Hey, look, I told him if we get, um, <laughs> if we get, what, two, 225 on bench? Yeah, 225. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that dance with him. A little TikTok dance. I don't really know how to do it, though. I was just practicing. Well, come on, man, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but me and Kentura just wrapped up, uh, I would say a crucial chest workout. We hit all three parts of the chest. We hit upper, lower, and middle. Also, we added some intensity in there, and we also added some volume in there. We also correct correct each other form because my my biggest thing about form is I'm I start off tight, but once I get fatigued, oh. I start to lose. <laughs> once I get fatigued, I start to you know loosen up my body. So therefore. My, my form just go out the window, to be honest. So that's probably one thing I need to work on. Uh, we correct uh, can do form as well. I think his biggest thing was being tight from the beginning. He used to just come in and just pick up the weight and just bench. A lot of people come in and just pick up the weight and just bench. But when you keep your scapula retracted, your chest up, and your shoulders back, therefore you can lock your body into place. Do you have anything to say about that chest workout? Uh, yeah, like you said, he corrected my, my chest movement. That's why I feel like my shoulders grow so fast because I've been doing all my chest workouts with my shoulders, if that makes sense. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it was intense. It yeah. was a great workout. I feel stronger, to be honest. I really do feel yeah. stronger. Lately, I just been, I wouldn't say bulking to extreme, but I was lean bulking. So therefore, I'm picking up a little bit more size and a little bit more weight, which I'm really, really happy with. And I would say around September, October, that's when I'm going to start back running. You got anything to say before we close the video out? Uh, that's it. And but here by dancing. We'll catch y'all in the next video. See ya. Now we need a thumbnail. How you gonna do the thumbnail? Uh -huh. I'll see you later. Uh -huh. Alright. How you gonna sure we in the right. I'm just to start bringing both of the both of the um, lenses. Turn, turn over that way. Alright. I'm just staying like this to make it. Are you gonna do this? Yeah, you should do that. Uh, you got everything right? Yeah. If not, just right. Oh. And I'll just bring it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. What's up? If you need anything, I'll just drop it off. Alright.